Before this video starts, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We are trying to hit 150,000 subscribers by the 1st of May. And as of right now, it's looking like we're going to be there or thereabouts. We are only 8,000 off, so yeah, if you guys like my team content and aren't subscribed, subscribe for most my team content on YouTube. But anyway, now let's get on to the video. What is going on, guys? DBG here, and in this video, we are doing another episode of The Road to Glory. It has been quite a while since we have done one of these. Honestly, I'm trying to think when the last time we did one of these. Was it Billups, maybe? I get it's been a seriously long time. Like, the all-star players are the last players that we picked up. So... We are now currently in the process of selling a few players to make some new additions because there are a few players that I just don't need tied up in my squad. Guys like this guy that I saw right here. No way for this type of squad is Carmelo worth 15k. So all of a sudden I'm now here on sitting here on 21k MT and we need a small forward. I'll probably end up selling fields and a power forward. So it's very, very obvious who I'm going to use my power forward. I hope that he's not that expensive. Because you just never know with these type of cards. They could go up in price. Unlikely to go down. No way he goes down from his 1,000. Or maybe not. Maybe I did just get one of him for 1,000 MT. So for 1,000 MT, there is no better value card in the game than Jeff Green. So coming in as our backup power forward is Jeff Green. So this is how our team's looking right now. We've got kind of a three-man point guard rotation. And I'm actually gonna, I'm probably going to sell D Brown as well. Because... I want to get this guy right here. So Alex Caruso is definitely a player that I want to buy because I think he's quite cheap. I don't know how expensive he is, but he's a guy that I think will come in and will make a big impact. If I can get him for like two and a half, three K, I'll be happy. I'll gladly take him for that price. A perfect 2,200 MT. And so he's going to come in at the two here and then Kerry Kill is going to come in it's like I think there are definitely a good few flaws to D Brown as much as I like D Brown he definitely has flaws and I don't really like one with two undersized players with him and Jeremy Lin so we've got this lineup here so far so I would I just want to check have a look at these premium sets to see is there any cheap players I can pick up so I don't really want David Thompson. I don't want Robert Pack. Like, I know I can afford... Not really good. I know I can afford Gerald Walsh. I just don't want to buy him yet. I know he's only going up in price, but I think I would rather... How? Wait, what? Is he price fixed or something? Like, I would rather just have the MT rather than getting him. For a squad like this, there's no point spending that much MT on a glue guy. Hamadou Diallo is a player that I really want. Okay, so I just want to check what his buyout price is. And I'm going to explain why I really want this guy in a while. Because he is he's way, way better, I'm telling you, than anyone will expect. So you're going to get for 700. Okay, so 750. You know what? That's fine. I could realistically get him for 500 on bid, to be honest. If I really went out for it. But Hamadou Diallo is exceptional. And Diallo is going to come in for Kerry Kittles here. So Diallo's here. And the reason is, is like if you compared Kerry Kittles and Diallo, these guys are they're both like both 652 guards. The difference is you got five Hall of Fame badges. And yeah, he doesn't have as many gold, but he's at Hall of Fame quick first step, which is huge. Also got Hall of Fame Pogo, he got gold clamps, he got gold quick try. He actually is a pretty good release. And three mid-range is not great. Three ball is similar to Kittles. His release is alright, but he's an unbelievable dunker. He's also got an insane steal. And while his perimeter defense is only 65, he has got 92 lateral quickness as well as, um, what's it, Hall or sorry, gold clamps, which means he's going to be more than capable of locking people down. And again, when we're on this much of a budget, we cannot go wrong with a card like him. So I was going to have a look to see is there any more of these types of cards I can buy. So we just need a small forward. So even Ruby. Position, small forward. There's a few, there's one card that I actually think might work out really, really well. And I just want to have a look just to see if I'm missing anyone, missing out on anybody. Like, not really, I'm not. None of these guys really fit into the team. But this guy right here, I don't know what price he is, but he might be a really good player. So, theme, 
20 NBA Series 2, Clay Thompson. Can I get him for 1500 or less? I, I know I can get him for 1500 or less most of the time, but I do not mind spending 1700 on him just because he has got quick draw, he's got range extender, he's got clamps. So overall, he's a good player. Like I know he's a steady, but look, you have to take have to take some hits when you're on a budget. So for now, anyway, I'm gonna go with. I like this lineup to be honest. I might end up getting rid of Miles Turner. Just want to see is there any other options. I might end up like in next episode. I might go and try out someone like a Kenneth Farid because he might be quite good. I'm just gonna have a look to see is there any others. So. Yeah, Caruso's good. Obviously, Jeff Green is massive. I like Simmons because he's surrounded by a bunch of shooters. You know what? This team's fine. This team is fine. Like, will I win most of my games? Probably not. Will I win some games? Probably. Um, at least I should get a, maybe one 2000 MT. 400? They only won one game. Oh, I must have reset it. You know, a 400 MT is better than nothing anyway. So we got a base league reward. To be fair, we do have 15 packs to open, so I'm going to wait for the Thank You Kobe pack anyway, um, just for a while. Here we got Dana Barros. We have a diamond contract pack. I want the diamond contract pack might make me a bit empty. But I'll wait. I'll wait, and I'll open these up in another episode. So, yeah, that is pretty much it. So, I'm going to go over the hot zones of... I'm not sure if I went over them for Caruso. Yes. I'm going to go over them for Diallo. Obviously, you guys know enough about Jeff Green. Um, I'm going to go over Diallo's hot sends and release and just kind of explain a little bit why I'm using him more than anything else. So, start off with, where is he, Alex Caruso. So Caruso, like, he's got a lot of hot zones, not many from mid, but his release is nice. So, they're the type of shots we can't really afford to take, but we can shoot the ball with him when he's not in limitless range, which is good. Um, obviously... He does. He isn't the perfect card. He has some flaws, but you know what? The fact that, like I'm using him as a, like a third choice point guard on my nominee spend squad, which not this exact account, but the nominee spend team just shows overall just how good. Well, it shows how good this card is because this nominee spend squad. He's playing over some pink diamonds I have. Like he's playing over pink diamond Baron Davis and stuff. I actually playing him over uh, Dion Waiters because he can actually defend unbelievably well and he's holding his own against pretty much anybody but overall like he's going to be a fantastic dunker he's going to run the floor and be a really nice defender and the fact if i can keep him as a situational point guard it means that teams aren't going to be too used to him especially because with my other players i like to pick him up and because of the fact that i've got hamadou diallo in the lineup i can either play one or him one of him or diallo because i can't really afford to play both of them to be completely honest but anyway now it's green on three and now onto Diallo. So Diallo does not have many hot zones. Like, you know what? Like, it's not like he's the greatest shooter in the world either. But his release, I've used him a few in a few games. And the reason why I'm using him is I played a game against one of my friends yesterday. And, like, my friend wouldn't be, he'd be an alright player. Wouldn't be anything spectacular. Like, he'd be, like, the average player you'd play online. And he didn't have a great team. So I tried to lower my teams overall. And I was like, alright, this is the time I can use Hamadou Diallo. And he killed it. Like, his speed, his ability to get to the basket, his dunking is absolutely incredible. And his defense is just way, way better than it should be. Like, yeah, he's a 65 perimeter defense. But the thing is, he's got 96 steel. He's got clamps. He's got leash, lateral quickness. And he's super, super fast, super good going to the basket. And overall, just one of those cards where should he be... Like, he's probably better than he should be. Like, I'm not going to be out here, like, taking mid-range shots and he's not great at that. He's going to be there to dunk the ball, play defense, and if he's wide open, hit the three-point shot. Not going to be anything spectacular, but for, again, for pretty much discard value, you can't get any much better. So anyway, now it's green on three, and come on. Now let's get on to the game. Okay, so we're playing against an overall cheeser because it's an 88 overall. Um, pretty good team. He definitely has the advantage, but we stand a chance. It's not like it's game over before it starts or anything. Um, we, the fact that we've got a bench helps anyway. And we've got a bunch of guys that can defend. So, hey, look, losing Carmelo might have been... To be fair, though, Carmelo didn't really have a role. It was either get rid of Carmelo or get rid of Miles Turner. And I chose to get rid of Malone. 
Um, you left him open, green. Ugh, not great, but you know what? Giving him a chance at a three is a lot better than giving him a guaranteed two. Bang, bang. Ah, come on, you gotta hit that one. Just realize I should probably keep the ball in Simmons' hands as much as possible. Should have got that block. All right. Losing to an overall teaser will not be a great way to, uh, for this game to go. That's so wide open. Green. Good shot. All right, but I got him. Okay, we're in our right position here. Yeah, good defense. What? We were there. I get it, no intimidator, but come on, we were there. Open. All right, shot. Come on. Give up that. Don't go in. You are actually kidding me. How are we out here missing whites and they're out here hitting everything? Guys, step. Oh, don't. Okay, thank God he made that. I thought for a second he was going to slow down and nothing got blocked. But defense, it's our ball. Our ball, surely. We're way out of position here. Dive. We're nowhere. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. We're right there. Can we just get stopped? Can you stop getting dunked on, Bernani? You got an 85 block. Take that one. Can you get the rebound? Oh my God, Bargnani. Is he that, has he been that class in the last two weeks that he can't even catch the ball anymore? That's his shot. Bad release. Okay, we hit a white. So we're, we're in this, we're well in this. That's a guaranteed two right here. We're not fast enough back. You know what, we stick in this game for a while and we're good. Should have probably shot that. I can actually hit that to be honest, yeah. I hit a hit corner three, so I don't mind taking that shot. Get in the way. And Bagnani has been dunked on four times. You would have thought he'd at least stop one of those from going in. Maybe get dunked on three of the four times and stop one, but nope, got dunked on all four. Clay, bang, bang. Green, big shot there by Clay Thompson. Yeah, that's what he's there for. That is what he's there for. We missed that one. We're not in position to do anything here. Good defense. And the ball dropped right into his hands. He doesn't have a post game. He doesn't have a post game. Bragnani finally forces the miss. That took long enough. Corner. That's his shot. And that's green again from Clay Thompson. We take the lead. Yeah, just like that. When you, surround, when you have enough shooters on the floor, you're never out of a game. And Bragnani has dunked by... Man, he is, he's playing like NBA 2K18, Nikola Vucevic. And if you guys are new to the channel, um, well, to be fair, I didn't have many fans back in 2K18, but um, he was, I used to call him the hologram because he literally couldn't guard anybody. He would like let people score. Too deep. Go. Really? Really, 2K? Really? It's fine. He's gotten it. Like, he's gotten every break. Like every lucky break has gone his way. Um, and we are still only down by four. Again, every that's happened. There's been four times that the ball's been poked loose, and all four times the ball's gone to him. The defense. In the same hands. It's push. Corner. Oh, spot up for three. You spot up for three. You were going to be one open and two. Um, it was going to be worth an extra point. We got lucky there. We got very lucky. Bye bye. No, bad shot. Like, exactly. Like the difference in this game is whites. Like I'm not, com I'm not saying that I should be hitting those shots because I shouldn't. The fact is that he's hitting all of them. He's hitting every white he's taken and I've hit none. So you know what? Look changes. Look changes in this game. So Eventually, I'm going to start hitting whites as well. And if I don't, then look, it's just a 2k god screwing me. That's a bad shot. All right, so we're down by six at halftime. See the 25 points, which is not very good. So, look, it is what it is. Um, would I rather be ahead? Of course. But 
I have no real control over whites going in. So they've hit probably four whites. I've hit one. That's the difference in this game. It's open. Bad shot. Really bad shot. Good defense. Actually, that's not even good defense by him. That's just bad by me. You're a rim protector. There we go. Oh, feels so good not having a player that gets dunked on every time. But defense. Oh my god, two blocks. Oh, that's open. You let him like come right back in above you. Like, you actually were open and he slipped past you. But defense there. And Jeff Green as a rim protector is unbelievable. Oh, wide open. Oh, here. Hit Lynn. We got to hit this one. Oh, my God. What's going on here? We can't green at all. Oh, my God. He just pulled off a dunk contest. Free throw line dunk. Oh, well. This is, abs this is chaos. This is not basketball. Like, he's tired as well. Like, he's after playing, not being subbed off, tired. Has pulled off one of the craziest things I've ever seen. That's a bad shot. That's just me, me playing frustrated right now. My mind. You are actually kidding me! How are none of these white? How are none of these greens? And again, also, not only are how are none of these greens, how have I not made a white since like the first minute of the game? This game is literally a case of who 2K wants to make more whites. Well, actually, no, it's not. How, like, how I'm not green these, I still don't know. All right, you know what? It's Caruso time. It's Caruso time. Lane can't, Lane can't do anything. It's Caruso time. We're down by 11 points. Maybe when his stamina starts to go, we have a chance. Good pass. Oh, man, I hate this. I hate lose. I hate losing the overall cheese. There's no people that I prefer that I hate losing the more in overall cheeses. He's like, there's nothing wrong with it. Like if it's in the game, do it. But it is abuse of the game. And just as I do that, just as we go on with Caruso, they snap get a snatch block on us with a guy who's got Gatorade symbol. Can we just green a shot or hit a white? One or the other. One or the other. You guys have seen me play. I don't miss these shots. These are shots that I make every single time with most of my tip players. How am I missing these? I'm one. Like, let me have a look at my percentage. I'm shooting six of 18 from three. All wide open. All wide open. Like, I never do this. I never miss these shots. Like, what is going on? Like, I never, ever miss these shots. Like, I shoot normally 50, 60% from three easily in games. I have never shot this badly before on this many wide open shots. And nothing we can do there. He's got to take over. We're going to be down by 20 here. We're shooting 35%. Get the dunk. Get the dunk. Don't. Okay. That'll do. Time it. The defense. Our board. Nope. My players won't even get rebounds now. Good block. And it lands right into their hands. We need this. We need this. We need this. Green. There we go. Finally. Jump with that one. Good job, Miles Turner. And the ball lands in our hands. Let's go. We need this. We need this. Please. Can we hit a white? We have not hit a white since like the first 10 seconds of the game. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can we just hit one white? One white. That's all we need. One white. Like that shot there would have made this a 10 point game. That would have made it a ball game. It's open. Maybe not. Maybe not. And we hit a white. Just as I say that. Curse of the commentator. That's the basket for them. Unless we can somehow get lucky here. Nope. You know what? I'm not. I'm not yet. I'm not worried at the minute. Because all the momentum is in our favor. They've got the advantage on the scoreboard. And that's the only place where they have the advantage right now. All the momentum is for us. Good dunk there. White open. Bad release. And we hit another white. Let's go. I'll go shift. I'll go shift. It's happening right now. Oh, we missed that one. I went for the steal instead of the block. Give him the ball. I was literally pressing. Give him. That was not meant to happen. 
the defense. Ragnani, three. Oh, please. <laughs> that was not a smart decision, but you know what? Sometimes you make decisions just based on kind of hype and momentum. And like had that shot from Bargnani went in, I think all the momentum would have been in our favor. Although there are there is definitely uh, momentum in their favor now at the minute. Why did I get stuck on that? Open. Bad release. We hit another white. So I'm telling you, Algo shift is real. Algo shift is a real thing. I actually brought our Simmons be my rim protector at this stage. You're act you can't I can't complain. I can't complain. I've hit three whites in a row. <laughs> I cannot say anything. Dive. And they green it. Fair play. That is their first green in quite a while. Actually, no, to be fair, they actually just green with Bam. So fair play. That's open. No, it's not in any way. And it's like that. We're in a bad position. And Jeff Green forces the miss. They come out with the board. I, but I wish Gatorade symbol mattered. Like, that would actually be massive. Like, again, I've overall cheesed. I've done it before. It is, without question, the mo the best way to play this game. And it's scare It's the scary thing is that abuse... Like, it is, without question, the most effective way of playing is overall cheesing. Like, there is never... Like, if you want to go 12-0 and 0 and you want your best chance overall cheese. And if it's in the game, the only... Like, if it's in the game, use it. I have no problem... Like, I personally don't like doing it. I really don't like overall cheesing. But there's nothing wrong with people that do it. Like, I see, hear a lot of people complaining about people off-balling, people overall cheesing. It's not the player's fault. It's the game's fault. If the game isn't broken, then, like... Again, don't hate the player, hate the game. That's flagrant. Like, you're kidding me. Like, we had it back to a stage where we got to stop, we we're back in the game, we commit a flagrant foul. Like, there is actually... There's actually... It's la Like, it's laughable. This is chaos. Like, I'm not going 12 0, so I don't really care. But, like, this is chaos. This is. This is 2K. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Like, this is 2K. And just like that, like, game over. Unless, just maybe, Caruso surely is too fast for him. Oh, unlucky. You would have thought quick for a step with them with Gatorade simply would have been too fast, though. Caruso is the free throw. And Caruso, two for two. Okay, it's not quite over yet. Very, very close to being over, but not quite. Stay in, stay in. Caruso, if we can get a step on him, we're actually in good shape right here. And Alex Caruso with the dunk. You know what? This is still on. This is still a game on. We need this. We need this. We need this. Get in. Please get in. We made too many whites this half. I can't complain about that. I sold. I straight up sold. Fair play to him. Fair play to him. I sold and he hit the big shots. And of course, right as we go and knock down the three, we hit with a moving screen. What else was going to happen in this game? Again, I couldn't care less because I'm not going for 12 and a on this account, but oh man, this is... For To be fair though, for every game like this, I have a game where every lucky break goes my way, so... Look, let's be thankful that this game happened now and not on my other account when I'm like 8-0 or 9-0. That's good defense by him and bad mislay by me. Because yesterday's game, I was 9 and or I was 10 and 0, was I? Yeah, I was 10 and 0. And I lost just based on stuff that I couldn't control. Like bad bounces, a bunch of ridiculous things happening. So, like, thankfully. A bunch, a game where I just got completely screwed happened on this account, rather than my main no money account where I'm going to be going for 12 and 0. Open, green, good shot there by Caruso. It's game over, unfortunately. Um, we just, we just. To be fair, I sold big shots as well, so I can't say too much about that. Late on in the game, he was hitting his shots and I was selling. Like again, we we made it close. We made it close. We put up a good fight. Just maybe. No, green. He greened, he greened everything down the stretch. Give credit where credit's due. Like, although... It is always, always going to be frustrating to lose an overall cheeser because the tactic that straight up should not be in the game 
it is in the game. So, um, you just got to deal with, with it. And, unfortunately, again, and one right there. I look, to be fair, had we gotten a stop there and gone down hit a quick three, it was a ball game again, but an and one happens instead of a block. Just I say that, we green a three, so you just never know. Like, this game is a game that I'd say 80% of the time I win. Straight up. Both of us playing the exact same play style. Him overall cheesing with this squad, me using this squad. I win 80% of the time, but unfortunately, this was one of those... This was probably one of the 20 percents where I lost. So, fair play to my opponents. He scored more points in the game and got the win. So in the end, Chauncey Billups had 15 points, 5, 7, 3. Caruso had 14 points in 5 minutes, actually plus 4. Ben Simmons at 12, and Simmons at 11. Our bench, we just... The Glangy Fields, 1 of 4 from 3, could not hit a shot. And Thompson actually did all right. Jeff Green struggled a little bit there. Shaq, not great when he's on the floor. Jeremy Lin, like as much as he got dunked on every single time. We did get five assists and four boards with Ragnani. Diallo wasn't great. Walker wasn't great. I didn't think Turner was great either. So, yeah, a rough game. Like, we built, like we shot 60% from three in the second half. So did they, like, they just shot better. Straight up, they just shot better. That was the only difference in that game. Like, we turned the ball over four times. Like, if I turn the ball over four times, I win 95% of my games. So, look, I can't be that upset. I cannot be that upset at that result. And 0-1. Oh and Obviously, we're going to reset. But, uh, yeah, so we got 6 7,000 MT for Doug Christie, which is pretty good. So, we're now sitting on 23,000 MT with an all right looking budget squad. There's obviously some players that I will look to add, but I'm not looking to spend much MT until Friday anyway to see what... Um, to see the next uh, time we get like a new promo set or something, just because the market will crash a little bit, I'm gonna wait it out. And 46 tokens, the problem is that you should really not have to unlock this and just skip straight to some whichever ones you want, but we still have emeralds, sapphires to go, and like, tokens don't really matter. At this stage, I'm probably just gonna wait until there's some better packs in the token market. And after that, I'm just gonna use my tokens on opening these packs and hopefully get a little bit empty out of that. But anyway, that's the video. This is the return to the road to glory. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.